solo movie blockbuster film connoisseurs, it is your self proclaimed cinema showgun here. And if you've been following this Gabby Petito Brian Laundry case as closely as I have, then you probably already know that Brian Laundry's family took off for a little trip to Orlando this morning. And it's got social media buzz. It's got all of us wondering what business does Brian Laundry's parents have going to Orlando in the middle of all of this madness and why their son is supposedly missing. And before you come with any crazy theories, we know that supposedly law enforcement followed them there and back. And here's the scene of when they first arrived back home. Chris, where's your son? Where do you think your son is? What is your message for Petito? What did you have for dinner on September 1st? Do you think Brian's in danger? So obviously they ignored the reporters and refused to answer questions, but the reason that they gave law enforcement for going to Orlando was for business reasons. And I mean, ask yourself, this family whose daughter-in-law just got murdered and whose son is on the run or supposedly missing, what business do they have other than maybe some type of legal business? Maybe they're going there for legal advice, to explore certain legal avenues, to talk to a different lawyer, maybe to get a different lawyer. And come to find out, they were in the vicinity of Jose Angel Baez's office. And you might not know who that is, but he's a famous lawyer who defended Casey Anthony and Aaron Hernandez. Now, if you don't know about the Casey Anthony case, you might want to look it up. It's a famous case, but that's a story for a whole nother day. But my point is that this is a big, famous lawyer. And if you want anyone defending you, if anyone has a chance at defending Brian Laundry, it's this guy. He got Casey Anthony off. But then that leads me to, to ask another question. Is Brian Laundry really on this run, going out of country, trying to get away? Or is his family just trying to buy him more time? Is he cooped up somewhere while his family tries to get a better legal defense team ready because they know what's to come? Any day now, Brian Laundry could emerge. You know, he could emerge from the darkness, from wherever he is. But at least they bought him the time to get a better lawyer, to get a better alibi, to just get their ducks in a row, just to get things in order. You know, maybe that's what they're doing here. Or maybe he is on the run. I'm not saying that's for sure. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like that is a possibility now, especially considering the fact that they went down here to, to Orlando for what reason? I'm sure they didn't go down there to go to Disney World, okay? And if you're telling me this family went to Orlando and here they are spotted, like, half a mile away from this guy's office, I could come to the conclusion, like, hey, maybe they went to talk to this guy at the very least. At the very least. But then I feel like this video... It leads you to ask another question, which is a question we've all been wondering. Here is Brian Laundrie's family getting home, ignoring reporters, ignoring the people on the street asking about their son. And if these were parents who really cared about their son, if these parents were really dealing with the disappearance of their son, wouldn't they be more concerned about trying to find him? Wouldn't they be more maybe um, open to answering questions? Because let's say, let's say their son did, did commit the crime and did kill Gabby. Does that mean that they're not concerned if their son is supposedly missing? Does that mean that they wouldn't want their son to still be alive? Does that mean that they're okay with their son just being dead somewhere in a preserve in the middle of Florida getting eaten by snakes and alligators? Or would they too want to find their son? Would they want to find their son as well if they really think that their son went off to harm himself? So I feel like the body language here in this video, just the fact that there's no concern from them as far as like their son missing, you know, there seems to be no concern from them from them when it comes to like, oh, their son is missing as well. Because the whole story is that Brian Laundrie is missing and maybe he went off into the woods and hurt himself or something like that. But they don't seem to be concerned about that here at all in the least bit. So I really don't think that's a factor. I'm pretty sure that the way this family looks, the way these parents look, 
They look like they know their son is at the very least alive. That they know that their son is at the very least okay. And that this trip to Orlando was something to do with helping their son. Because I don't think they just get up, hey, let's just go for a day trip in Orlando in the middle of this madness for no apparent reason. So that's my opinions on this whole situation. I know more and more information is pouring out. And supposedly, Brian Laundry just got charged with like some type of credit card fraud. So I will be covering that on the next video. So you might want to be subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But while you're here, let me know your opinion about this case and all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. And as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.